We are back to variable valve timing on cars. Specifically, this is a Porsche. And on the last video that we did, my good friend, Carolyn Cope, she, she basically said that what I explained about this and the way this cam moves, it was just a foreign language. And I, and I get that. So I'm gonna try to, uh, Carolyn's a good friend. She's a longtime Encinitas na native. I call her the queen of Encinitas. If that's not all right, Carolyn, we'll just edit that out. Ultimately, what this thing is doing is it's turning the camshaft, right? And I told you guys all the specifics about how, the, how and why and all these different veins and all that, but who cares about that? So the engines today are a smaller displacement. They get better gas mileage. They have lower tailpipe emission, all with more horsepower. So how does how do you get all those positives and no negatives, no negative drawbacks to any of those? It used to be, if you make a bigger engine, then the emissions go bigger. If you give it more performance, you get worse gas mileage. So, you know, all these things had this like imbalance, but on today's cars, with the advent of these really cool things, you, we can have all those. We can have smaller engines, better gas mileage, more performance, lower tailpipe emission. And so that's what we're, that's ultimately what this thing does.